What's up dudes? So today I'll be comparing two monitors that I've had in my Mac setups, the Dell Ultra Sharp and the LG Curved Ultra Wide, as these two monitors are kind of the two biggest monitors that I've seen so far for people to use in their Mac setups. I'll kind of explain some distinct features of both. I won't go into too much detail as you can see all the specs and all that jazz online, but I'll tell you what I found out and what helped me and what led me to my decision as right now I'm currently running the LG Curved Ultra Wide. So why curved? I got a curved monitor because I wanted something bigger to be able to have more windows and tabs open at once and I'm sitting so close to the monitor that having a flat monitor would require a lot of panning side to side to be able to see kind of both edges of the screen but in this case I kind of have it all in my peripherals and it's just a lot nicer and it's more real estate baby because I sit so close, I wanted a 4K or a 1440p instead of a 1080p monitor just due to the fact that a 1080p monitor, I'd be able to see all the individual pixels due to the pixel density. Um, and ultimately, I just feel like that would ruin kind of my user experience. Now, refresh rate doesn't really matter as my MacBook can only output 60 hertz. Both of these monitors aren't really gaming monitors. And I have my PS5 plugged into both of them. And honestly, I think it looks phenomenal on each of them. So starting off with the Dell Ultra Sharp, the model that I I had was the U3415W, which came out about six ish years ago. Picked it up last year second hand. It worked flawlessly so far with my setup. The one downside was that it lacked the USB C hub, which was able to connect and charge my MacBook through one cord. The new U3421WE models with a tad better specs and resolution do come with that input. So if you're willing to spend about a grand, by all means go for it. But I would recommend that if you're interested in the Ultra Sharp, definitely scout marketplaces as you can get some pretty nifty deals on them. So moving on to notable Dell features, there is one feature that I enjoyed a lot more than I expected to, and that is the PBP or picture by picture. And because of this feature, I probably will consider getting another Dell Ultra Sharp as my next monitor. This feature allows you to put two simultaneous inputs up on the screen at once, which in my case was my PS5 on one half of the screen and my monitor on the other half. And you can have them stretched out or stick to true aspect ratio. Being an avid trophy hunter it made following guides almost effortless i multitasked a lot with schoolwork and any other daily work that i needed to do in hindsight it probably wasn't the best thing in regards to effectiveness but i enjoyed using it and it was really useful 90 percent of the time all the time so one issue i noticed with the dell was that the fonts and icons and various edges seemed sort of pixelated or feathered out i found a couple of old reddit posts that experienced the same thing now i don't know if the newer ultra sharp models have fixed this as it's USB-C to USB-C instead of USB-C to HDMI. I tried to mess with the settings and configuration and I had no luck with making it look better. But as far as Dell goes, there are a lot more inputs in the back. So if you have a lot more things to plug in, Dell would definitely be the way to go compared to LG. The menu system is really easy and straightforward to use. You can also map two of the touch buttons to different shortcuts. I had one as PVP and then another for inputs. And of course, the various picture modes and other settings you can mess around with for your viewing experience. Moving on to LG, the current model that I rock for my setup is the LG 34WN80CB. This is the second time that I'm owning this monitor. I had one prior Prior to the Dell. This one had a weird defect where there was a, a crack that developed in the corner of the screen that crawled up the whole screen within a matter of minutes while I was editing and it basically ruined it and made it completely unusable. So a big reason why I decided to repurchase this monitor was because of the USB-C input. I wanted something that had that so I could minimize the cables crawling across my desk. Another factor was the price. It is only about 550 bucks compared to the $1,000 and I kind of wanted it immediately. I also really like the image and the colors as well as the LG doesn't have that weird pixelization around fonts or the icons so that just made my viewing experience a lot better. It's a lot more contrasty in my opinion and of course it offers HDR. I believe the picture looks a lot better but it also does come with less features. There's no speaker, there's no picture by picture. And overall it's a phenomenal looking monitor. The menu system is standard. You can adjust various picture modes all that basic jazz it looks great and if you can live with less ports if you're on a budget 
for about 500 bucks. But if you're willing to pay a bit more, then I would definitely go with the Dell as there are more inputs and features that help with productivity and day-to-day -day tasks. And that's about it. Thanks for watching my little comparison video. I've included links below with more spec information. If you have any questions, please comment them below and I'll try my best to answer and help you. Um, like always, subscribe if you want, like the video if you want, dislike it twice if you really hate it, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.